Well, this is the same pond where I was just at the dam there with the dam break sets and had the misses. But uh, this is something, and you learn, I'm learning all the time. Um, as a northern trapper, when I find beaver dams, beaver lodges, or activity, there will be cuttings. They come in, cut the trees, cut small brush, but there's always cuttings for any uh, activity. You'll have slides or where they're coming in and out of the water. Uh, older beaver will stay out in the water usually. But I had walked the perimeter here and I, I find a nothing. Well, here's the difference about your more southern states and what I'm finding. And I'm going to bring you out here. In these southern states, there's a vegetation that the beaver eat. They don't always cut trees or have to eat the bark to find their food. And this is an area that is an example. Well, there's a start of some vegetation. You'll see there's really none in this entire area here. Then you get over here and you're going to see this heavy vegetation. And it's pretty heavy everywhere. Except where the beaver are moving and eating. Now, once I figured that out finally, and you can see down here, I'm walking right in a channel. It's a pretty big channel. It's a deep channel. But the vegetation is totally gone. Here you have it. Of course, here's her channel. So they've cleaned this out. And I, I, they have to be eating it because, again, there's no chewings anywhere. So... Well, the only thing you do is you set a conibear. And when the gods smile on you, you make a catch. Oh yeah, that's a good sized. Another big one. Well, I got uh, two more set here. We're going to check them out too. But again, it's not always if you're in the north coming south and doing some beaver trapping, it's not just cuttings you need to look for because that's not, uh, you know, there are, you're going to find here and there, and I do find tree cuttings. Uh, but I think the majority of their food source is right here, this vegetation. It's in the water. I know in North Carolina that's the way it was. But sometimes it takes me a while to put things together. <laughs> I keep sinking. Let's go over here. I got a second one to check. And then later on I got a third one. This one looks busted up too. Unless the wind just blew. Had a good wind here yesterday. That might have... Uh, I don't think it's the wind. How about this? Yep. Yeah. I just love seeing that flat tail stick up, don't you? Same thing. I love this tool too. I think I told you about that. Another good sized beaver. Okay, woohoo, I'm on a roll. Um, and again, right here through this its channel, the vegetation is gone. So as before, I lay out and uh, get the animal to dive. Now I got one more 
over there. I'm going to shut off and uh, it looks good though. I don't see any disturbance. All right, talk to you. I'll do a remake and show you. Well, these are the two I pulled out of the pond, and they're both male. Uh, this one being the largest, and I don't know, 25, 30 pound, 25 pound maybe, 20, whatever. Smaller beaver. That's the first. Uh, that's the first beaver of that size I've caught since I've been here. Okay. Talk to you later. Well, you can recognize this. This is mud pond. <clears throat> this water has not cleared up since a week almost. So it's some disturbance upstream somewhere. Well, I caught one beaver here. Big one. Again, it went cold. It's been a few days. And it's still isn't blocked up but I couldn't find the trap and of course you can't see it here so I've been fooled before let's <clears throat> make sure it still isn't there somewhere and I this is number five Duke oh that's a good sign been there before. Let's see, do we see a tail or a sandbag? I don't see a tail. The trap is all the way down there. <laughs> Exciting. There's some weight to it. That sandbag. Nope. Hey, there's a head. Looks like front foot. Whoa, that's heavy. Good lord. Should be a female. Oh, can't tell. Doesn't feel any teats. It's a big beaver. Teeth are wore down too, broken, wore down. Nice front foot. I guess that's ideally what I'm going for. Uh, keeps them down. They drown quick. Everything worked right. Okay. That's three for today. Woohoo! We're cooking. Don't you just love it? I can't say that enough. All right, we got skinning to do. See you later. I carried that 60 yards maybe from over there. I'm out, of, I'm out of breath. It's heavy. Two hands on this one, no one handing it. I mean, what a toad! I don't think pictures are going to do it justice, but the girth on that thing, huge! Okay. My boot, size 11, so, uh, yeah, this thing's huge. And the male, the mate to this out of this pond, was just as big. Love to have a scale, but I, I'm pretty sure this is over 50 pounds. I've had a few of them, and this just seems heavy, or I'm... I know I'm getting older, but wow. I'll take it. 
Okay, talk to you later. Well, surprise, surprise, we're at a beaver pond. This is uh, a new spot here. I uh, found out about hiked in about, I don't know, three quarter of a mile hike in. So I set three traps here just last night. Right straight in front of me there's a, a lodge. So I guess let's see, uh, see how I did. Well, here was first check, and uh, I just opened this back up. This was uh, again a dam break, and uh, it was plugged up though. Now I did set this with a number five Duke double long spring, which is becoming my go-to trap. I pulled on the wire a little bit, and hey. There what we get. Flat tail. Let's try to do this one handed. That is just set last night. Oh man. And yeah, that's a of course they feel heavy with about a 40 pound sandbag on there. They all feel heavy, the trap itself too. I think that's a good nice beaver. That's a catch on the first night. And so it's plugged right up again. So I got two Kana bears in here. I'll check them out. Duke number five, double long. I'm beginning to really like them. Alright, moving on. <laughs> 